Welcome back to Brand Out Consulting. Today we're doing a MySys overview video. All right, so where we're going to start this demo is we're going to create a new purchasing order, and we're going to start it right here. Uh, we're going we have to get our supplies, so we're going to be buying oranges for our orange juice. So let's go here, open this up, and we come down here to oranges. All right, we're gonna order a thousand of them. All right, so we check all of our information, great. And we're gonna save this. We're gonna open our PO. Open the PO, all right. So uh, now we're gonna receive the items. Check them. Receive checked, all right. We'll close that now. For our additional costs, our shipping was UPS Ground, or in our instance right now, UPS Instant. So we're going to come over here, and the amount is going to be $25. And we're going to prorate that. So it's just going to add $50. Normally, if it's the amount, it'll prorate it by amount because that's what we've selected here, prorated by weight. Since we only have one item, it's only going to associate it with one item. So we're gonna process that. All right, and now that we've done all of our additional costs, we can go ahead and close the PO. Check all and close checked. All right. So now that we have our uh, our materials now we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a work order we're going to create a new work order our location we can associate it with a job details uh, we're going to be making the actual orange juice so we're going to have OJ hit select there and uh, it's ordered ordered a thousand okay I'm gonna save that and that just was we're gonna create it today and end it today I was asking if we wanted to do that and now we're gonna to go to release work order all right and that brings up our action bar now we can go to allocate or complete in this instance we're just gonna to go to complete and we're going to complete our thousand right there. We're going to hit auto fulfill and process the work order. Thousand. Then we're going to hit auto fulfill and process the work order. Okay. So now it's been moved from uh, from raw materials over here to completed. <clears throat> So now we can close our work order and then to finish everything off, well, here's our production schedule, but it has gone through our production schedule now. Um, so to finish this off, we can come down here, we go to stock control and we put in all of our information here, item number, we've got our OJ and job number we can associate it with our job and our quantity in ounces and we click manufacturing to sales and that will send that over to the accounting software thank you for watching this demo video and if there's anything else that you need help with let us know in the comments below if you think mysis manufacturing is for you please let us know and we can help you get started